Greetings and welcome back to NIMBY. In the previous episode, we got all of the Upper Leicester up and running. We got North Leicester, we have Central Leicester, and we have East Leicester runs now all available. We also got a trunk line put in place. I believe that was last episode. It's been a little while since I've played pretty much any game, single player, let alone recording games. Um, so uh, sorry about the delay in, in videos, but uh, hopefully we can try and, try and get on top of this again. It's been a bit rough recently. Um, anyway, today's mission is to get the south done, and the hope is to get the other side done as well. And then we can look at getting an interlink running between Leicester and Peterborough. That's the hope anyway. Now, I don't want to go down to Corby and back up again, but we might do that. Just because Corby is quite a small area, and we could probably drop down a couple of stations. And have a high speed train just swing on by. Alternatively, we just do a straight point to point. Wee, boop, and boop. And back again, just a quick point to point. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that one out as we get to it. Uh, but Corby is fairly sizable. I feel if we go for Corby, we're probably going to end up going down towards Northampton. And, you know, we don't really want to go down to Northampton at all. We want to be going up, we're going north. But that plan is to take this place north. And I have the game paused right now because... Uh, we're just before the end of the day, so we get to look at some of the stats for the previous day and see how things are going before the day resets. So, let's look at the accounting tab here for today. We took six million in affairs. We spent, we paid three point nine, or three hundred ninety nine thousand in uh, refunds, and four hundred eighty five thousand in compensation. Ugh. Now I know we bought a lot of trains and stuff. That's fine. Don't worry about that. But I am I am unhappy with the, the with the compensations. Um, refunds, I'm fine with. Refunds means someone got on the train, got to the end, and then got refunded. Whereas the, uh, the, 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 yes, the, 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 re the compensation <coughs> is money on top of a refund. So you refund someone's ticket, and then you pay them extra. And that I'm not happy with, because that means we're losing money on the trains, rather than just breaking, rather than just, like, covering it. So let's see where our lines are, and let's rank these by compensations, and we can see what we have here. It uh, looks like our biggest compensation problem is actually Leicester North. I mean, I've done Leicester East and Leicester Central with some compensation issues. Well, yours. Yours is waiting too long. Uh, yours are way too long. And yours are way too long and fair too high. Now, fair too high, I don't care about. 36 people complained about it and they didn't really get any issue. Uh, the, However, the waiting too long, 17,000 people complained about waiting too long and that meant. 400,000 in compensation and 300,000 in refunds. That's not really that good. Now, that's, that equates to just over, maybe about two thirds of a million a day lost revenue for waiting too long. <clears throat> it's not long before that equals a cost of a train. So I'm wondering, do we just take two more trains on this line? What is the average wait time on this track? Uh, the average wait time is 13 minutes. Now, we could drop a couple more trains on there. That wouldn't hurt the whole process. Um, you know, let's do it. Trains. Uh, Leicester North. You. Uh, let's see, you're, you're the biggest train. If I clone it, uh, we have five carriages. We can't go more than five. We cannot. And we can go for two trains. Uh, clone schedule. Yes, clone the schedule as well. Boom. That's two new trains on that schedule. And that will help out a lot. Now, there's two new trains on that schedule. That means we need to alter the schedule timer. And let's use their actual, see if we can use their actual timer here. Um, these are city tram. Ooh, what type of trains are we using? We can probably use their ramp ups. Uh, we're using the city tram, uh, city tram, definitely. Uh, so in lines, we have here, drop down, we have a whole bunch of city trams. Uh, I don't know what these numbers are. These actually might just be the actual trams themselves. So let's pick you. Uh, packed up in, in uh, sure. Leg health speed average is uh, 65. There you go. All right. Min interval between train is 8 minutes 34. We'll paste that in and we'll lock that into 8 minutes. Boop. There we go. They're all set to 8 minutes apart from ones we have locked so they don't cause issues. If we can zoom out a bit without this annoying thing on the end. Thank you. This should, hopefully, by the end of the day, reduce that. I'm not going to buy extra trains for the uh, Leicester East. It's 43,000. It's, it's a fair bit, but it doesn't add up that much. So let's get the timer running. Also, they've changed the graphics. I've noticed this. Let me mouse your mouse. Where are you? There we are. 
they've changed the graphics. Um, the, the, the train tracks are visible, but then you have this coloured section. What's this coloured section? What does that mean? Why is the rest of it coloured? Why are you coloured? We've got a bit more into lines. Why, why are you coloured there? What does, what does the coloured mean? I, I've not seen that before. What, what what does the colour mean? Is it a reduced speed? It can't be reduced speed because this part here is not reduced speed. I don't know. I might have to look that one up. Does, is there any of those over in uh, Peterborough? Yes. And I know that's a high speed line. Ish. Is that, yeah. It's not high speed, it's just a tram. But uh, I know that's the red room. And these are pretty good. And this is... Why are they... Okay, I want to know why they're... Uh, why they led there like that. I will look that up after the uh, recording. Okay. Anyway, we've done that. We've got 393 million in the bank, and hopefully we have just knock that forward one so we can see that. Knock you forward so we can see you. Uh, competition is coming in on the way too long, but hopefully we won't have that many people complaining about it. Uh, we'll figure that out when time comes. But we are, we, while we're waiting, let's get the building in the south done. We need to get more things up and running in here. So let's add new tracks. And let's start with stations, actually. Uh, stations. All right, we need to cover the south here. Now, I want to make sure we have a drop-off here and a drop-off up here. And that's going to be our two intersects. One with the east line, one with the central line. That's but that's how I want it to be. I want, to, I want the intersects to be across multiple routes, if possible. Like, the one over here will link with the the south, the central, and maybe even the north, depending on if we do this in one or two routes. So I want everything to have two connections. So let's get this one up and running. First of all, let's get a station in here. Um... Boop to oop, make sure you're on trams up to there. Boop and move to just stretch that out a little teeny bit so they line up a little bit. All right, that's one. That's University of Leicester train station, and over here we will have uh, the Leicester College train station, which will go boop to boop to to, to boop. There we go. And that gives us Leicester College. Now that gives us my uh, my two stations of connecting. Now we've got to get down here. So we'll start with you. You're going to come down this way. And let's switch the map over for a moment to density. Um, good, we're not going too far out here then. That's not a problem. So we want you to come down here. You're going to come down around this area. Um, I would like to, we can just do a, a loop, one loop here and another loop here. Um, keep them relatively small. Uh, and have this one connect there and there. And have two loops, south, east, and south. Then we'd have south. Yeah, okay. We have more. We have more. Um, we could go in smaller, smaller loops just around this area here, right? Uh, and then this one will come down and loop that area. Or we can go around the whole thing, but we just have to how we deal with the middle piece. Let's get let's get the middle piece in there first. So you come up there, you come down here. We'll set you right for the uplands here, and we want you to be a hundred meter track. God, I'm zoomed way in too much. Then I want the 100 meter train track to go there, and then you get down to here, and I'm going to want to do that to 100 meters. I covers that one. Then we come across here, and we put you there for one. There, 100 meters. Can't even see how big that one is because it's hidden behind the logo. They they need to get that so it doesn't go behind them so you can see the air. Now here's a question: Do we shoot down here? Back up there into there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and possibly eight stations. I feel that's a good idea. Then this side we can go around and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. We'll do two. We'll do a two uh, smaller loops here. So you come down here, there. Then you cut across this way, and then you go up. So you're gonna go from there to here. In fact, can I move you further south? Move your line down there. I uh, mean yours this way. A bit, 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 200, 100, there we go, 100 meters to there. And then you curve up to that one, which we can edge this way a bit because it's a nice little bit of density there. We can, we can come over here for this one. It's going to be a tight-ish turn. But uh, I don't mind that. And then we come up here and then back to stations again. And here, I want to have another station there. That's 100 meters. And there will be one station somewhere around here. It's pretty much wedged in the middle there for no reason. They'll link to that. Okay. So to do that, 
I want tracks, which is N for new. And we'll be taking from there. And we're going down to here. So for that, ah, that will come down here. Link into there. That one will link around this way, which is going to be awkward about it for no reason. Boom. That one's going to come over to here. So this one will do a bit of a tight turn. But it will do it in the way I want it to do it. And you will come down here. Now this one wants to just be a little bit awkward. But I can, we, can, we, can do with a, we can deal with a little bit awkward. Uh, you come up this way. Boom. You can come up here. Boom. You can go. Ooh, there's a river there. We, we can cut that river off. Cut right through there. Boom. And then you can come up here. Boom. Look at that. We have a loop in place and it covers most of the area. So on this side, I want to do the same thing Coming from that station down here. Um, not even going to go down to Whitstone or not. We'll, we'll, we'll come back over here and we'll join with that one. I think that would be a good one to join with. Because I want to have interlinks if we can. So T for new station. Um, go from there to there. Move the end one so that they line up just a tad better than that. There we go. Uh, the one up here, did I link another station here already? I did. Good that we can just use that one already. All right. So now we need new stations. Hello. We have a friend. The uh, the cats do like to uh, to pop up when they uh, see me talking to myself. Uh, okay. Where did he go anyway? Yeah. Well, he's on the floor as well. She went to investigate him. Uh, okay, so you come down here. You're going to come into this station here. Uh, there. Make that a bit smaller. 100 metres will will do us. Right in the middle of a pack. Perfect place for a train station, right? Uh, we'll start up here now. You're going to curl up this piece and come down. I want it to be here -ish so we can link it on this one. So T. And we'll bring your station somewhere around here. There. And the downward station will be somewhere around here. Just to make sure we get all of the middle bit here. Uh, you're going to go this way. Stay as close to the edge of the river as you can. There we go. And then you come down here and grab that piece of river as much as you can. And we've got this bit in the middle that needs to be grabbed. So I don't know how we're going to get that in a minute. Let's see. What's the best way to get that middle piece? So I don't want to just abandon the middle piece. But I also don't want to... Uh, have too much wiggleness. Now, actually, if we're going to that station. This we can have this one come across here, and take this middle piece out. Not a problem at all for us, right? In fact, we can bring it a lot more south there, and we can bring it down to there. So that one comes down from there, goes across to here, down to that one. Then that one goes down, and then we'd have a station in the middle here. There, that covers most of the area, and then this one wants to just a wee jig of its angle, like that. I mean, you can probably go back a bit, not too much though. And that gives us most of the area covered. All right, that I like. That I like. So let's get you wide up. You go from there, and you come down here, like that, and you would come down, and your job now is to go across to that one, and then across to that one. So it might seem a bit unusual. But hey, it's the way you gotta do it, right? Uh, aquifer to go across there? Aquifer? No. What's it, what's, what, what are you? You're not an aquifer, you're a rider. Why do we think of an aquifer? aquifer? Mostly because they're probably always, they're usually together, aren't they? Boop. And then from you to this one here, which again has a river in the way. Ew, rivers. Boop. Viaduct. Back down to back down to a tram line then I'm going to get to you we'll do a nice sharp ish turn follow this up here like that you would need to make a cross here boom and you go north and finally you come up this way we're going to run across the river edge because we can and then we can run you. Now you're going to do this way. You're going to go up to here. And you're going to go around that little loop there. And that gives us our two loops. They, they intersect to two points. Uh, they have their own station. So there's no clashing problem like this. Some of the other stations have had. Um, oh, we don't really have them in this one. But there are some places where we had uh, shared stations. And they had to put special anti-clashing routines in place. 
We don't really have that now. So there we go. We do have the, the joint piece, but that's the cost of 30 million to build. Uh, one water or road hits. One water or road hits. Where? I, I accept your, your alert, but I don't know where. It's only this last track that ever got near water. So, can I, can I click that and you take me to it? Thank you. Uh, there. There's a little. Is it. It's a bit of a station on the river. Fine. Move you back to there. And bring that one back here so we have 100 meters. There we go. And then we need to click this bit of line here. To delete now how do we delete a bit of track because that needs to come out that there needs to come out so we can new track switch to viaducts get across that water with a viaduct switch back down to tram lines there we go and then we can lock you into there boom build for 30 million boom can build yes build build all tracks 30 million done daily undone done now we've done 30 million in that run uh, we can switch back to normal mode now. Actually, let's switch to this. Uh, let's see. We are... The competition's way down. Oh, well, it's not the end of the day yet, but it was like 500k, wasn't it? <clears throat> Maybe 600. All right. Let's get these new tracks up and running before the end of this day, though. Um, I will pause because of the annoying track thing that goes on. Uh, let's see. So I want a new line. New line. And this line will be called the lesser... Leicester, Sal, uh, Sal, thank you. Okay, so again, Sal, East. It, okay, uh, ticket price is, uh, let's see, we're doing two, so we'll do the same. Uh, two. Yeah, yeah, we'll stick with two. Southeast, Leicester, Southeast, two. And your journeys will begin, I just thought the line, at the alpha line. Alpha. And then we'll pull the A's all around. Alpha. Alpha. Then we get here and then we go bravos and do a return journey. Boop. I wish it was like a button to say, I want you to do this loop, but I want you to also, when you get to the end, reverse the loop automatically. Because that's one of the, to me, one of the bigger issues really is uh, having to sort of reverse the loop yourself, especially if, you, especially if you're doing a big loop. All right, uh, did we do any? We did that, yes. So the code will be N E I S E S T dash south east. Okay. So according to the schedule that we have here, um, if we were to run this and we're running around a 65 is it because these are 70 max and the train can do 70 45 max these are 45 max uh, 45 boom and it doesn't tell because I've got any trains yet ah, by trains go by trains uh, let's see our our start can I can I can I can I can I can I please okay schedule go away I need to move uh, what's our starting point here that one will be the University of Leicester uh, so that one, when we are on scheduling, I want to lock the University of Leicester to zero minutes and on the University of Leicester locked. I want them to lock because when the starting and stopping station tends to be a bit of an issue. So we'll lock those two down. Okay, so the size of this track is 42 kilometers and based on other ones, uh, you are, your central is our closest, which has how many trains on the central line? Five trains. So we're gonna make the same basic guess here. Uh, five trains, please. So let's go. Uh, it's on the list there, is it? New trains, city trams, maximum capacity. Uh, we'll be five of them. And we're not calling the schedule. Buy them and then apply. Can I apply to all of them? No, okay, only one at a time. Uh, so we will go here and we'll say we want you on Leicester South East. And uh, Leicester South East. Make sure you get these right because changing them after you've done them, if the trains can't get there by themselves, which they can't, uh, is a 500,000 fine for getting it wrong, basically. 
And what I mean is, if you pick up, if I say that one's in southeast, I want to move that to the east now. It can't get to east because there's no intersecting track. The they got parallel tracks. And then if I were to do that, I'd have to hit the intervention button, and the intervention button, as good as it is, will bill us 500k for the privilege of that. All right, let's see this get it going. The train should appear on the track. There they are. And they should all pretty much get going as soon as they can. All right, can't do much more with that one. Let's get the line up and running here. Uh, let's see, the Leicester South East schedule. It says it's 11 minutes 57. We will set that to 11 minutes outright. I like the outrights, and I also like to round them down so they, they're not overlapping, but they are uh, just catch up a little bit sometimes. All right, and that will uh, that will unfortunately put a big bottleneck on this one here, which I probably should actually maybe give them 10 seconds wait. Just let them separate around the, the track for a moment. Just help them split. Ah! Okay, they do appear to be ignoring the logic of this thing. Let's make them around a minute between between runs. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Just spread them out a little itty, itty, bitty bit. There we go. And now we give them the full 11 minutes. So now it will annoy them. But hey, let's set it anyway. All right, that one's done. It is. Oh, we have to do other stations. Which is the 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 southwest. All right, I'm gonna just copy this because I am lazy anyway. For that, uh, again, pause the game because. How about we uh, come out of the editing mode because the game doesn't like me doing stuff like that. How about again? Pause the game. Bring my back my cash button. Thank you. Uh, lines. We have a new line to bring online here. New line to bring online. This is the southwest version. Boop. West. There we go. And the code for this will be oops, uh, SW, and that W should have been a capital W. There we go, and the price will be again two. All right, um, I will color code them, but I can't really forward. New lines. We'll start you up here, and you can take the Charlie line, which means Alpha's down here, and Alpha. An alpha, an alpha, and an alpha, and then Charlie, then an alpha, then the alpha, then the delta, then the bravo, and the bravo to the delta, to the bravo, bravo. Bravo, and this the last one here. Bravo. Oh no, there was one more Bravo to go. And back to the main base. Okay, there we go. That's all you set up. And everything there is good. Uh, you will take off that one. And we'll take off that. Good, okay. That's all that done. Um, this one is going to be 49 kilometers. This will be six trains. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll buy one train, clone that train, one train, no schedule, purchase, apply this train to our southwest line, clone it, and buy five more. And we will clone that track. Boom. Excellent. Okay, that works out well. So what we'll do now very quickly here is on the scheduler. Uh, we're going to set them to have a... You know what? Yeah, give me a 30 second cooldown on their tracks. Uh, Leicester College, on the other hand, should have been at zero because I didn't lock it before I set that. So I'll lock you. And Leicester College, Leicester College, Leicester College, Leicester College, Leicester College, there it is. You should also be zero. Lock and lock. Repaste and get your trains moving, my friends. Boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo -doo -boo we should actually set those to. Uh, one minute thirty, don't we, just to help them spread out a bit better? There we go. Now there we go. That's them set. All right. So if we were to say we want you to take that tram as it's recommended, and it'll have an average speed of forty-five. It's gonna be ten minute nine. So set them for a ten minute average. Boom. Set. 
So now you can go away. Can I go to this screen? I, I wish I could like deselect these so I could see this without the coolest codes without those little bits again outside. Uh, can I do that? Can I pop you away? Pan and zoom was it? No. Nope. Apparently it's not an option. All right. Well, get you guys running. Uh, these two trains down here appear to be having fun together. I don't know why they're together like that. Why? Why? Why are you two together like that? No, seriously. Why? Why are you two together like that? Stop it. We we didn't authorize this. Stop it. Stop it. There we go. Finally figured it out. There you go. And the Leicester ones are going to be a little while before they're separated. They uh, they are still bottling up over here, but that just happens. Unfortunately, you can't you can't very easily get them to separate out. I wish I would start at, like random stations, like an option if you were saying I'm building a new line here. Please let them start at random stations so that I don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, but you can't sadly. Now, when they get spaced out, however, they won't have this waiting time. Uh, there we go. So you, uh, the red line train here, should be the last one that has to wait for a bit. And the yellows, they're still spacing themselves out, but they seem to have got themselves sorted out pretty well. Okay. Now we look at the part where it gets really bad. Um, money. Money, money, and money size. They're running. It's night time-ish. Uh, we spent 300k on compensations. That's not too bad compared to the previous day, which was 489k. So we've brought it down by a good what that, 200k? Yeah. Yeah, we're right down by 200k. Uh, most people here are still complaining about uh, the trains taking too long, even though I gave you more trains. I gave you two more trains on that line, and you're still complaining. I'm not giving you more trains. You just have to just, just deal with it. Deal with it. Um, but there we go. We are we are making a crap ton of money now. Uh, we make 7 million in the day already, and these some of these lines only came online in like, it's like 1,900 hours. So... The bottom two tracks, the southwest and the southeast. If I switch those over to profits, uh, south, east, southwest, they've made like 30 and 40 and 30 and 40 grand each, and they've only been operational since uh, nine, uh, eight, seven o'clock at night. <clears throat> so I think they're doing well. Uh, Competition is still climbing, but not much we can do about that right now. Uh, I will have to keep an eye on YouTube, make sure you're not getting any. Uh, well, you shouldn't do, not this time of night anyway. Uh, is there any problem areas? We need to just quickly scan over this, uh, this. I don't think there are any problem areas. That's the thing. That, those two stations there could be the biggest problem areas. But I would hope that they're not really problem areas. And they're just being awkward. This one, Andy, Van, this one is a problem area. Um, this is probably where all the problems are, all the people are complaining from anyway. Um, okay. If that's the biggest problem, where are the most people going? Let's search by number of people. Uh, it cleared down. That was that was actually kind of annoying. I was hoping to uh, track them. Uh, if we figure where the most of them are going when that happens, we can uh, we can we can we can track out where they're going. Because it might be that yes, they're on this line complaining about waiting, but we might be able to maybe put like a shunt line in place or something. Because this is a quite a long track. We could say give them a new shunt between here and there, if that's if that's the thing. So well, we can we can work that out. Um, Let's see, it's really day. we should run this for a little while, but I think this is all we have time for today. In the next episode, we're going to run these lines for a bit longer, while also trying to build this uh, west side. And I believe, looking at the size of our routes here, we're going to have a northwest and a southwest, or just a west. Maybe you have a west as northwest and a southwest? I don't know. Depends on how big they are when we build them. I think it's going to be probably split into two. Um, we might just have, could we have a southwest? We might just have a west and a northwest because this is a north route by itself. And that would actually work quite well naming wise as well. We'd have to work that one out. But we do have people on these lines and they are making money. So uh, that's good. If we just look at our compensations though, ooh, it's early morning, but no one's complained yet. Give them time, give them time. Uh, where have they? They'll be uh, this one where they complain at usually. So we're just going to keep an eye on that station there and see how long it takes to get through this area. Uh, we may need to put in a shunt line like we did over here, where we connected the north to the south. But I'm not quite sure where we'd do that. I mean, we could put a shunt line from the north there, down to the middle there, and down to the south here, as a single bump line. But before I do that, I would probably want to get the mids in place so it can the shunt line can jump between all of them. 
might not be a bad idea, <clears throat> but I do like having these little shunt lines, these little multiple intersects. I don't think it's a big issue if you want to go from here to here that you have to jump across a couple of stations to get to it. Um, but I think it's working out okay. Ah, let's look at the schedule. There we go. Uh, we, we do have some fair two highs, um, but no com more complaints so far. So we go. All right. Let me know what you think of the current build and the current layout. Uh, let me just take that to there. Let me know what you think about this, especially our new uh, south lines. They, they're a bit smaller than the other ones, and I think that's going to work out well for us. Uh, I believe the smaller lines will have less compensation problems, although that is still to be seen. Anyway, let me know what you think of the uh, let me know what you think of the build and what you think of the game so far. And until next time, comments in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.